Yeah, I actually just installed some uh, tail lights. Actually, a lot of people don't realize this. These lenses were getting faded out. You can see they're pretty faded out. You know, they're almost like orange colored. And I tried to put in an amber bulb, and you can see there's an amber bulb over there. And if you put the standard 1157 light in these, they look almost white. But these are actually, a lot of people don't see this car, this Jeep is kind of, uh, you know, been around. It's an older Jeep. And to get these lenses, I, I probably have to go to Australia to get them or something, you know, a replacement. But there's nothing wrong with them. They're faded out. So what I got was uh, red colored bulbs. And uh, you see, this is what they are. They're just like that. They're a red color for motorcycles, 1157. So if you have an older car and you have some lenses, they're starting to fade out. What you could do is get these 1157 red colored bulbs. And the thing is, you know they're still gonna show up nice and red otherwise they show up they're like they're white and you know they'll get pulled over for something stupid like that now I just want to actually say a note on this um, you know you know 11 I guess people are familiar with the 1157 tail light right it's a standard tail light they also have 2057 now 2057 they fit in the bulb the socket itself the only difference is that the running light the park light is a little less bright it doesn't take as much uh, is a little less power in it but the longevity is about the same then there's another bulb you can put in there if you want extra bright uh, brake lights it's a 2357 now it's the 1157 is a standard you can put it in a 2357 it fits it works the same the only difference is that the brake lights the running lights are the same like when the park lights are on but when you hit the brakes they're more powerful they put out they're much brighter but the thing is instead of being lasting 1200 hours for the brake lamps they last 150 hours so you know you know you can actually change this stuff around but I just want to point this out this is actually a motorcycle um, bulb you know colored red uh, a lot of people aren't aware of this and you know I could get replacement lenses for this thing but I remember it was a pain in the ass to find them the last time and um, you know I might have to order from Australia because this is actually a uh, uh, JA51 Jimny 1300 it's on a Samurai and you know I could change the whole freaking bumper out or something like that but I ain't gonna do that garbage just because of a freaking taillight lens so the simplest thing to do was to put in red bulbs so if you have any of these old cars out there and the lenses are faded out and you want to go get new lenses, just put in some red bulbs. And where you find these red bulbs, it's uh, motorcycles. Motorcycles have this stuff. You know, you probably won't find them in an automotive shop. You'll find them in a motorcycle place. And if you want extra bright lights, because I actually got rear-ended with this thing. This thing actually, you know, you probably don't notice it. It's not bent. You don't notice it bent because I straightened it out pretty damn good. But I got rear-ended with this thing a few times, and uh, you know, actually, I set up. Well, I should show it to you. It's underneath the dash. You can make the the uh, brakes flash if you want in time with a timer. It could flash real quick and stuff because uh, I don't know. I guess people don't notice these lights down here. It doesn't have that third light on it, you know, up here. So uh, that's one reason I'm gonna actually do this with truck bed landing in the back here because I'm not gonna get the the dent is almost perfect. From just hammering it but it's not perfect so if I make it gloss black you'll notice if I put truck bed lining you'll never notice it and plus this is an area that gets a lot of abuse in a four-wheel drive vehicle but I'm going to show you actually how I have uh, underneath the dash there's an adjustment thing where you can have it when you hit the brakes they uh, flash they flash which is a good thing to have too and actually it's this thing right here you just turn it up you could if I you know I just hook it up it's just like a wire I have to hook in the back to it which is no big deal I think it's this wire right here and uh, you turn it it's got a slow flash or a flash flash when you hit the brakes I tell you the truth I think that helped me with accidents a bunch of times I don't know if that's hundred percent legal but you can make it flash like really really quick where it almost looks like it's on but it gets people's attention because this little puppy man I've noticed it's almost as bad as my El Camino people don't see those lights they're real far down but with the El Camino you're gonna get hit with a nice big class 3 trailer hitch and it's gonna bust right through the grill with this thing it's too small so uh, you know I like to have some kind of lights on it so I have this set up here for the fog lights too